Choose brachot and mitzvot, friends, over here. Look what I've got here. This is the stuff to learn over here. Not just stuff, this is the Torah itself. Sefer Bereshit, Hilchot Chavetz Chaim. And we learn about in this week's parasha, in Parashat B'chokotai, that someone keeping the mitzvot, the Tariag mitzvot, is going to be showered with abundance of various brachot, with regards to rain, with regards to crops, and so on and so forth. That's how important it is to keep learning, to keep toiling, and to keep doing also at the same time. But unfortunately, the opposite side of the coin is that if one is not keeping the mitzvot, and maybe choosing to go through the Yitzhak, Hara, and doing various different Averot, different calamities can come upon a person in different levels, uh, different uh, Madrigot, the most uh, terrible calamities, God forbid, we don't want uh, to uh, put, put, uh, fall upon man and everything else. So that's why it's so important we toil. How do we become a greater person? How do we become a better person? How do we do the mitzvot itself? We need to do, do, do. We need to listen to the Yetzirah Tov, the good inclination, and not, God forbid, the Yetzirah Hara, which can befall. But one thing we will say, if God forbid calamity does fall upon a person, we know that Hashem is with us still the whole way. We can, we've got a chance. We can repent this Teshuvah. Teshuvah is the biggest present out there. If even the worst calamities, God forbid, fall upon a person, improve ourselves, work hard, and take it that we want to cleanse ourselves, and then make sure it doesn't happen again, and just see the light of Hashem, and bring the mitzvot about.